Hey everyone, welcome to Off Road 801. My name's Curtis, my wife Chantel's at home. I'm gonna take you guys to see some petroglyphs today. Not just any old petroglyph. Well, this guy looks a little scary. The best petroglyphs I've ever seen. I compare all the other petroglyphs I see to these ones. These ones are pretty amazing. These ones are pretty crazy. And I want to show you so you can see him. It's like a little sun there. I think those are wings. So if you want to see some petroglyphs, some dirt roads, free camping spots, don't forget to subscribe. Just click that little button down below. This is the little shack where you come and sign in and donate. In the summertime, they usually have the fridge full of drinks. All right, this is a historical site. It's on the National Register. I came here once and got to actually speak to the owner of the property. She was really cool and uh, she had lots of cool stories to tell. She showed us around a little bit. They got a bunch of other artifacts that they have uh, stored away. And there's a phone number in there you can call. I've never tried it, but there's a phone number you can call and possibly go see those. Picking up these rocks like this. Just... She told us about living in this canyon as a child. And I don't think she had power in her house until she was like, in her mid 20s and she told us a story about getting attacked by a mountain lion and uh, showed us some uh, pit houses the Indians used to use. I made it down in the tiny little house. Pretty cool place. Come check it out. Well it's a nice day today. It's pro I think the Jeep said it was 39 degrees partly cloudy. I think it's supposed to get mostly cloudy and hopefully it doesn't get cold. Hopefully the sun doesn't mess up me showing you the petroglyphs. Okay, this little trail is just under a mile in and out. There are lots of boulders and stuff to climb over in some places. And it's right up against the back of this cliff. So sometimes it's a little challenging, but it's not steep or nothing. A little spiral. That petroglyph's about three feet in diameter. Looks like a sun coming up over the mountains, sort of. What do you think? This is Fremont Indian petroglyph style, they say, and they estimate in between somewhere in between 1 AD and 
Well, hopefully you can see these. Dogs like an elk. Looks like somebody's come and tried to redo the petroglyphs, thinking they're clever. That guy looks like he has tentacles. Yeah, those are either mountains or snakes. And then some circles, maybe the sun. Shield, I don't know. It almost looks like some geometry. That guy looks a little scary. Okay, here's the part for mature audiences. Little kids, if you're out there, cover your eyes. All right, this is where things start getting crazy. What do you think that guy's holding? Oh, the sun is messing this all up. Can you see how big that guy's feet are? I wonder why his feet are so big. Well, it always makes me think when I come to places like this and see petroglyphs, how many more are out there? Hopefully you guys could see the petroglyphs. I was trying to beat the sun. I didn't quite win. So hopefully you got to see them. I might have found Jeannie McConkey. I'm going to go see if I can go look in her sheds. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite place to come see petroglyphs. Oh, okay. And I was so hoping I would get to go in your shed today. <laughs> yeah, oh man, yeah. How'd you like to get a whack on the head with this? Yeah, this here was really funny. We can't, I can't pick it up these rocks like this, but the stick was off. And mm. then the Indians told us how they used to do it. The first time... Okay, let's go there. Yeah, I'm coming with. Oh, okay. Okay, I made it down in the tiny little house.
Um, I live in Ogden. Ogden, near Salt Lake. Be back to walk us up and do it. Okay. Okay, tell me what you think this is. Holy cow. This turns. Okay. Yeah. So cool. That's our pickup cock, and we already had a lot of salads and stuff. These don't need our irons and stuff that we already had. I think they're predicting a little for tomorrow, but I don't know. They keep moving it out. Yeah. This is an old organ. It's pretty cool out here. Try to come out here so you can see it. There's way more petroglyphs than I showed you, and there's way more relics in them buildings that I didn't show you. This is a cool place. Come check it out. All right, I better go find a place to camp before it gets any later. I was gonna go up the canyon, but it looks like there's still a lot of snow up there. I'll go try to see if I can find some other place. I've been up to see them petroglyphs like three, three or four times probably. And uh, out of like the 50 petroglyphs I can find, there's maybe only five having to do with animals. Most petroglyphs, they got a little stick figure guy shooting a bow and arrow at a deer. Not a Makaki ranch. If you can get out there, I recommend you do. It's awesome. Well, I think I found where I'm gonna camp. I'm just out of town, north on Taylor Mountain Road. Um, if you wanna find out where I'm at, stay tuned. winter camping it's not very cold right now it's like 47 is what my phone said In the middle of February it's pretty warm I just got my t-shirt on it feels nice not quite as nice as Arizona but pretty nice for Utah and especially where I'm at this uh, area is generally not known for being warm I just heard an owl Sounds like a big great horned owl, just over there.
Well, I decided just to go simple tonight. I'm gonna fry me up some hamburgers. I don't think we're gonna get a sunset tonight, so I'll do a little time lapse on some clouds. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Go find us some new adventure. I'll give you a couple of guesses of what town we're in. I'll show you some clues. If not, stick around to the end and I'll tell you where I'm at. Well, that last dinosaur might have gave it away, but I'll still keep it a secret for a minute. Um, I'm headed south on the Bonanza Highway, Utah 45. Gonna go see if we can make it to Fantasy Canyon. I was laying there thinking about it last night. Imagine yourself a couple thousand years ago. Not only did you have to worry about getting food and water, you had to worry about your neighbor. Hey, we made it to Fantasy Canyon. I'm gonna go hike around a little bit, show you guys how cool it is. I guess some paleontologists in 1909 found this place, looking for dinosaur bones. Don't climb on any of these rocks, they'll break, and then nobody else will get to see them. Some of these rocks look like dinosaur bones. Check this one out. Wow, look at this rock. I'm 
it sort of looks like a big dinosaur bone too. Man, some of this stuff is just crazy. Okay, well, I thought you could camp out here. I guess you can't. Uh, it says day use only. Pretty much most of these roads out here are all access roads to the oil fields and the natural gas fields. So watch out for heavy truck. But uh, there is BLM and public lands out here. There's an OHV area. I think it's Red Wash OHV area. I've never been there, so I don't know what it's like. If you do enough driving around, you'll see some wild horses. And there's usually some antelope out here too. Oh, I found some wild horses. They're all just eating lunch. And some more. Yeah, both of these places are really easy to find. I just used Google Maps. It took me all the way out there. Well, so if you didn't guess already, the top secret location of the city was Vernal. Uh, so the Petroglyphs, Fantasy Canyon, both something you could do in Vernal if you're in the area. There's a ton more to do out here. Someday I'll show you. Hopefully this summer I'll get to show you some more. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you everybody who subscribed. We appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in every Friday at 12 o'clock.